Hello, this is Vicki, welcoming you to Rolling Harvest Food Rescue's next episode of What's Cooking? Today we are preparing a delightful side dish of pan-braised radishes and greens. The dish will serve four and will only take 30 minutes to prepare. Here's how to start. Choose two large bunches of radishes and trim the greens from the radishes, leaving a bit of the green stem intact. Place the greens and the radishes into a large bowl of cold water and let them soak for at least five minutes. Remove the greens and place into a colander to drain. Take the radishes and dry them either with a cloth towel or paper towels. Now slice the radishes in half. If you have larger radishes, they can be quartered. If the radishes are really small, you can just leave them whole. Mince one shallot, or if you prefer, you can use one quarter of a small sweet onion. In a large saute pan, melt three teaspoons of butter and sweat the minced shallots over medium heat for a minute or so. So what does it mean to sweat shallots? The culinary definition of the word sweat means to cook something over low heat in a small amount of fat. Now add the radishes to the pan and season with a pinch of salt and pepper. Pour in enough water to almost cover the radishes. Bring this to a simmer and then partially cover the pan and cook until the radishes are knife tender. This will take about five to eight minutes depending upon the size of your radishes. Now remove the lid and add the greens to the pan of the radishes. Cover the pan and cook for one to two minutes more or until the greens have started to wilt. Use some tongs to stir the mixture around. Now transfer the greens and the radishes to a large mixing bowl, but leave the pink juices in the pan. Bring those juices back to a simmer and reduce the volume until you have about one quarter cup remaining. Add a teaspoon of butter and stir until the butter is completely mixed with the juices. Take one bunch of fresh tarragon, or you could use a half a teaspoon of dry tarragon, and add it to the bowl with the radishes and the greens. I like to chop my fresh herbs while the radishes are simmering so they'll be ready to add at the end of the preparation. Pour the reduced juices over the top of the radishes and greens and toss to coat. After tasting it, you could add a little more salt and pepper if it's needed. You could also add a splash of vinegar just for a touch of brightness. We hope you enjoy this pretty and different way to enjoy radishes along with the radish greens, which are packed with nutrition. Until next time, thank you for joining my colleagues, Jill Kelly, Edie Kwasnowski, and me, Vicki Sarnoff, for this episode of What's Cooking? For information about Rolling Harvest Food Rescue, please visit our website at www.rollingharvest.org. Thanks and bye for now.